Now, of course, Kajal is a brand that I have covered on this channel many, many times in the past. Everything from Dahab to Kajal Um, Kajal Um 2, Lamar, the list goes on and on. In today's Cephalobon contributor video, we're going to be taking a look at Kajal 3. This is a 2023 release. I'm also going to be letting you in on a very special giveaway opportunity for this huge compliment getter. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Kajal 3, a fairly new fragrance released in 2023 last year. It feels strange to say that because we're in the beginning of 2024. I want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and please give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. Now, if you want to participate in the giveaway, it's such a simple process. All you have to do is visit the first link down below. It's a link to cephlabon.com. After you become a registered reader, just leave a comment on the article. That's all you have to do. You need to become a registered reader only once, and then you can pretty much comment on every article for your chance to win Best of luck. I know there are a lot of people entering these giveaways, so make sure to check back on over to the website on the date that's mentioned in the article because that's when the winner is going to be announced. It's not going to be announced here on YouTube. I will not be announcing it on my channel. This stuff is phenomenal. If you're looking for a compliment getter, if you're looking for a fresh and citrus-based fragrance, but one with power, longevity, endurance, sustenance, a resolute quality. We're talking about patchouli, amber, and ambroxan in the dry down, but it has this really unique accord of lemon soda in the opening. So it's bright, it's effervescent, it's citrusy, you have the lemon, you have some aromatic components in the heart, and it just has this beautiful ginger, citrus, warm, fresh, slightly oceanic personality to it. I'm going to be letting you know my in-depth thoughts on the smell. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. Now, in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this really magical introduction of lemon. You have lemon soda. You have ginger, and then you also get the freshness of the ambroxan. I know ambroxan is a note that's found in the dry down and in the base of the note pyramid, but you do get that fresh sort of sparkling oceanic fizzy quality in the opening as well. So perhaps there are some aldehydes being used here, but that lemon soda accord in the opening, it's so bright, it's so natural, it's so fizzy. And I think that's what gets this fragrance, that compliment getter, quality or asset that it possesses. You know, whenever you're wearing these fragrances, whether they're bright or fresh or sweet, or they have something within their DNA that makes them conducive to getting compliments, you have to get noticed with it. If you don't get noticed, then if it's a skin scent, chances are the likelihood is that people are not going to be so quick to compliment you on it. But when you have something as gregarious and something as extroverted as Kajal 3, that lemon soda introduction will get you noticed, hands down. And of course, after that bright initial citrusy aspect dissipates, you are going to transition into the heart where there's a bit of an aromatic component. I believe there's rosemary. There is this general freshness about it. And again, it establishes this professional quality to the fragrance that I think is easy to love. It's so easy to love, so mass appealing. And the dry down, even the patchouli isn't of the dark variety. It's not too herbal. It's not dirty in the sense that it smells like soil. So I'm personally not picking up on soil tincture or geosmin or any of these other qualities that can make a patchouli ingredient smell a bit like dirt, right? To be literal. But it retains this freshness through and through. And I think the ambroxan has a lot to do with that. Now, of course, this fragrance falls within that Bulgari Tiger DNA. It also falls within that Arakis by Spirit of Kings DNA, the Key by Navitus Parfum. There's been a lot of fragrances that possess that sort of grapefruit, ambroxan, and ginger combination. And we see that depending on what other notes are in there, that can be the foundation, but the other notes kind of ornament 
the perfume and they give it its own pizzazz and its own personality. And again, here we see that grapefruit, but it's coupled with that bright tangy lemon in the opening, that effervescent quality that you don't get in all of those other counterparts, but you also have that sustenance and that longevity in the dry down on account of this dry, not so sweet amber, this long lasting patchouli. And you do have the ambroxan, which like I mentioned earlier on, God, it's still so fresh. And I sprayed this like 25 minutes ago. That ambroxan, you get it straight from the opening, but this is one of the longest lasting variants of this DNA, if you will. Kajal 3 is amazing. There are so many great fragrances from Kajal, whether we're talking about Alma or Faris or Warwick, or you know I've covered so many from the brand. Um, but this one is definitely one that needs to be on your radar, deserving of so much attention in 2024. I love this one. You have a chance to participate in the giveaway and win. So follow the first link down below. Best of luck. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, like I said, it is in the family of a Bulgari Tiger, Arakis by Spirit of Kings, and even the Key by Navitus Parfum. There's a lot of different fragrances, kind of utilizing that Ambroxan ginger combination. But again, it's the way that it's done with those individual notes that really set it apart, that create that uniqueness that I really admire about Kajal 3. Longevity is 10 plus hours for a citrus-based fragrance that is quite rare. Projection was fantastic for the first hour and a half of application. It radiated beyond an arm's length. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour eight, a skin scent right around hour 10. Versatility, in my opinion, it's perfectly unisex. I think this one is great for the hotter weather, but you can pull this one off in the autumn as well. As long as it's not super duper cold because maybe the citrus is not really what you're looking for in the mid of winter. Um, but to be honest with you, it's clean, it's professional, it's a compliment getter. If you're wearing it in a climate controlled environment, you can wear it whenever you want. There are no qualms with that. This one is great for formal or casual scenarios. And I think anybody of any age could really appreciate this one. But again, these are just recommendations. Wear what you want, wear what your nose gravitates towards, and wear what makes you happy. As far as the presentation is concerned, I love these dark bottles with that rose gold hardware. I think it's really sexy, it's really gorgeous. My final verdict on Kajal 3, it's a huge compliment getter, bright, fizzy, bubbly, effervescent, lemon soda, ginger and broxin, super long lasting, great for the office. It's going to be a staple in a lot of people's collections. Look. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, another fragrance it smells similar to, Vibrato by Suspiro. So again, if you have experience with that, it just came to my mind. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and shoot on over to Cephalobon for your chance to win the giveaway. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.